Hi, it's Mary. I hope that you are doing well. We're here for my final book review for November. And the book we are talking about today is the third in the Miss Peregrine Home for Peculiar Children series, The Library of Souls. And as I've mentioned before, I started reading the series, so Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and The Hollow City about a year ago, and then I took a bit of a break, and now I've decided that I should finish the series. So I started again, so that is why we are talking about the third book. Let's give a little background on what is happening. In the first book, Jacob Portman discovers that his grandfather, who had recently died, and he himself are peculiars. So peculiars are any human or animal that has supernormal traits and abilities. And as you can imagine, peculiars are feared, persecuted, and ultimately outcasts. And the Library of Souls begins where the Hollow City ended. So Jacob and some of his peculiar friends are trying to find some of their other peculiar friends, and Miss Peregrine and the other Imbrins. So Imbrins are the peculiar matriarchs, so they protect the peculiar children. So to save them, Jacob, Emma, and his other friends travel from modern day London to the alleys of Devil's Acre, and that is the most wretched slum in Victorian England. And in this place, the fate of peculiar children will be decided. The Miss Peregrine books are truly unique. They are made with a combination of words and vintage photographs, much like the photographs on the cover. It's difficult to find books similar to this series. So my first recommendation is going to be the other books in the series. So it starts with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, moves on to The Hollow City, then The Library of Souls, which is the book I just read, then A Map of Days, and then The Conference of Birds. The sixth and final Miss Peregrine's book will be released on February 23rd, 2021, and that one is called The Desolation of Devil's Acre. The fact that these books are about peculiar children speaks volumes about the voice they are written in. Many of us at one time or another have felt or been treated as if we are peculiar. And instead of viewing this as a negative, the Miss Peregrine's books celebrate our unique qualities and underappreciated abilities. My other two suggestions are also young adult fantasy series. And we'll start with the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So these include Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter, among others. And the Lunar Chronicles reimagine classic fairy tales in a futuristic world where humans, androids, and cyborgs live alongside one another. All of the characters must work together against the evil queen, Levana, to save their country and possibly the world. Next, I have the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth, which includes Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. This trilogy is set in a post-apocalyptic version of Chicago. And in this story, we follow Tris Pryor as she explores her identity in a world that divides its citizens into factions based on their personality traits. As we progress through the trilogy, war looms due to conflicts between the different factions, and Triss must travel beyond the known boundaries to save the people she loves. This is one of the few series I've read where I felt that the second book is at least as good as the first book. I'm almost done with Allegiant now, and I can't wait to finish it and see how it ends. There's also a prequel to the Divergent series called War, which is the experiences of one of the characters in the book before the times of this series. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about my young adult reads for November. I'll be back soon with my what I'm reading in December. Until then, I hope you enjoy what you read, and I hope that you also
also choose a few books that are different than your normal reads. Challenge yourself to go outside your comfort zone. Thanks so much for joining me today and have a great week. Thank you.